Hello viewers, uh, welcome back to the course on scientific computing using MATLAB. So today we will continue with the cubic spline as we have started in the previous lecture. So today we will discuss about cubic spline. So as we have discussed that in the previous lecture that we have the data points, few data points are given to us like this one and in each of the data, in each of the sub interval I want to approximate this with the cubic polynomial such that it satisfy certain condition at the connecting or the common nodes. So like this is the node I have, so I will define like this one, then it should go like this. So the movement of the, at the common node, so that should be smooth. So this is the common node. So let us uh, define this one. So let us I take maybe I call it SK and this is SK plus 1. It means that this point I am choosing, this one is XK, YK and this is XK plus 1, YK plus 1 and this I am taking xk plus 2, yk plus 2. Now with this, so we have the points xi and yi, i is from 0, 1, 2 up to n. Now I define the polynomial sk, x. So this is a cubic polynomial I am defining. So I will define S k 0, so that is the coefficient S k 1 x minus x k, so it is starting from the x k plus S k 2 x minus S k square plus q. So this one I have defining when x belongs to x k x k plus 1. So the same I can define for in each of the sub interval. So this is a cubic polynomial. So I need to find out this four coefficients to give me the to have a cubic polynomial in the given sub interval. So now this polynomial, so I can define that this polynomial, so we can define such cubic interpolating polynomial in each of the sub interval. So I can define this one as in each as k plus 1, k is from 0, 1, 2 up to n minus 1. So this way we can define all this n number of cubic polynomial. Now, so this cubic polynomial satisfies the following conditions. So the first one is this s at x k should be is equal to y k because the value is given to me. So it is passing from this point. So my the value of s at x k, so I can define this any common value, uh, spline. So I can define this as my x s x. So s at x k should be is equal to y k. Second one is that the if I take the derivative s 
k first derivative I take or I can first I apply the continuity condition. So, at s at x k plus 1 this is the connecting common node it should be equal to s k plus 1 x k plus 1. So, this is called the continuity condition. So, that is defined third one is s k dash at x k plus 1 that should be equal to s k plus 1 dash x k plus 1. So, that means the derivative. So, if I moving from here to here the derivative should be same. So, there should not be a just a sudden jump in the data. So, the movement should be smooth. So, that is called the smoothness, smooth condition. And the fourth one is that because you know that to find out this cubic polynomial I need to find this four coefficients 1, 2, 3 and 4. So, I need the four condition to find out this four coefficient. So, first is this one, second, third and the fourth one is that the second derivative if I choose. So, that should be equal. It means that curvature condition. So, the curvature should be same for this. So, all these four condition is to be satisfied for the given cubic polynomial defined in each sub interval. So, based on this one I can define. Now, from here now since we have total n number of cubic polynomial because in each sub interval I define one cubic polynomial. So, I have a n sub interval. So, total n number of cubic polynomial which implies we have total 4 n number of unknowns. So, we need to find the total 4 n number of unknowns. So, this is the number of unknowns I have to find to define the cubic polynomial in each of the sub interval that satisfy the this condition. Now, from here if you see then this condition is satisfied for n plus 1 points because this is true for all each x. This is I am defining. So, that should be it should be true for k is equal to 0, 1, 2 up to n minus 2. This is also true and this is also true n minus 2. So, from here I can say that I will get n minus 1 condition, n minus 1 conditions, n minus 1 condition because I have to satisfy this condition at the common nodes. So, total there is a n plus 1 points and n minus 1 common nodes. So, this condition is to be satisfied <laughs> only at the common node. So, whatever the common node I am taking, so that is why I am taking n minus 2. So, n minus 2 plus 1 is it will be n minus 1. So, the last will be n minus 1. So, the total n minus 1 condition. So, from here we have n plus 1 plus 3 times n minus 1. So, this is a 
n minus 1. So, we have n plus 1 plus 3 n plus minus 1 condition. So, from here I can find that this is equal to 3 n plus n 4 n minus plus 1 minus 3 and I can write that this is 4 n minus 2. So, now we have total this conditions available. So, this number of conditions are available to us. So, total we have 4 n number of unknowns, but I have the 4 n minus 2 condition available. So, from here I can say that we need to add 2 extra conditions at the at the boundary values or boundary nodes to find to find the cubic polynomials completely. So, that we have to do. So, these two extra condition we will see that how we can define these two extra conditions to find out the cubic spline. So, let us do that how we can define the cubic spline formula. So, let us do that. So, we define the expression for cubic spline. Now, let S x is the cubic spline for all x belongs to x 0 to x n. See, I have defined this S k that is defined only in the given interval that x k to x k plus 1, but this condition I write in the S. So, it is defining for all complete polynomial cubic polynomial and that is satisfying for each value of k. Okay. So, this is S k and so that is I have written S x, this is equal to S x when x is belong to this or I can say that let S x is the cubic spline. So, S k S x is basically this is S 0 x when x belongs to x 0 x 1, S 1 x when x belongs to x 1 x 2. So, this is S x when x belongs to So, S n minus 1 x So, this is my cubic polynomial that is in the piece wise. So, this is my S x and that is the cubic polynomial we have defined in each of the interval sub interval. So, that is why we have defined like this. So, now let S is the cubic spline is the so let piece wise cubic function. Then if I take S double derivative, then S dash S double dash is the is piecewise linear function defined on x belongs to x 0 to x. So, that is already there. Now, 
we know that that the linear Lagrange interpolating formula So, we know that the Lagrange interpolating formula gives the flowing representation for, so I am taking the second derivative. So, at x k that is equal to this is. So, second derivative I am taking of the complete polynomial for the x that is similarly same as equal to s the, the kth second derivative the kth cubic polynomial. So, the first one is s k double derivative x it can be written as x minus x k plus 1 divided by x k minus x k plus 1 plus s x k plus 1 x minus x k x k plus 1 minus x k. So, this uh, we have defined from the concept of Lagrangian interpolating polynomial in the x belongs to x k to x k plus 1. Because in this case if I put x is equal to x k, so this will cancel out, this will be equal to the second derivative of x k and this will be 0. When I put x k plus 1, this will be 0 and I will get only this value. So, this is we have defined using the Lagrange interpolating polynomial. Now, this is second derivative. So, we call it m k and this is we call as m k plus 1. So, this is the corresponding linear interpolating polynomial, the Lagrange interpolating polynomial for the second derivative. Now, let h k we represent by x k plus 1 minus x k. Okay. So, from here the equation 1 can be written as m k by h k. So, this is I can write this plus m k plus 1 this value. So, we call it equation number 2. So, this is the way we can define. Now, this is true for all x belongs to x k x k plus 1 and k is 0 1 2 up to n minus 1. Now, integrating equation 2 with respect to x. So, what I do I integrate this 2 times because I want to find the what is s k. So, times. So, now on the left side I will get s k x. Now, from here I will get m k by h k this is the constant value. So, I am integrating this factor 2 times. So, it will be this square. So, from here I can write that this will be equal to because integrating x k plus 1 minus x 
with respect to dx that is equal to x k plus 1 minus x square by 2 with the minus sign. So, it will be this one and if I am doing again the integration of this. So, this will be again x k plus 1 minus x power 3 divided by minus 2 into minus 3. So, from here this will be 6. So, I can write that this will be equal to x k plus 1 minus x power 3 by 6. So, this is the value I am going to get plus m k plus 1 by h k x minus x square by 6. Now, if I do the integration one time, then I am also introducing one constant of integration and then again integrating with respect to this. So, I will get the value of x. So, I introduce this one that the two integration. So, I will call it p k. So, that I will represent by x k plus 1 minus x and another is I call q k that is x minus x k. So, this is the, the constant of integration we have defined this c. So, we will call it p k. So, I am in, uh, finding this one with the help of introducing this one with the x k plus 1 minus x and the q k that is coming from the other one x minus x k. So, this one we are defining just to make the symmetry. So, that is my question number 3. So, now we are able to define this is my cubic polynomial. We know and I need to find what is the value of this m case. This m case I want to define and what is the value of this p k and q k. So, these all things we need to find out. Now, substituting x k and x k plus 1 in equation number 3. So, this is I want to see s at x k. So, if I define x equal to x k, this will be 0, this will be 0. So, I will get only m k by h k this is x k plus 1 minus x k cube by 6 plus p k x k plus 1 minus x k. So, I will get only this value and this can be written as, so if you see from here this is h k, so raised to power cube. So, from here I can write that this will be equal to m k h k square by 6 plus p k h k. So, this is the value I get s k at x k. I call it 4. The next equation at x k plus 1 I will get s k and I know that this value is definitely equal to y k. Now, I want to define s k at x k plus 1. So, at x k plus 1 this value will be 0. So, we will get this value m k plus 1 by h k. So, this will be again if I put x k plus 1 it will be h k q by 6 plus q k into h k. So, from here I will get m k plus 1 by 6 h k square plus q k h k. So, this is equal to s k at x k plus 1 and that should be equal to y k plus 1. <clears throat> so, I call it 4 and the 5. Now, from equation 4 and 5. So, from these two equation we find we find the 
values of pk and qk. Now from 4, my pk will be yk, so that is known to me minus mk hk square by 6 divided by hk. So, this will be equal to yk by hk minus mk by 6. Also from 5, my qk will be yk plus 1 minus mk plus 1 by 6 hk square divided by hk. So, this is equal to yk plus 1 over hk minus mk plus 1 by 6. So, this is the two values p and q I getting from there. Now, substituting. So, now substituting p k and q k in equation 3, we get So, S k x will get from there the similar all the values will be there. So, it will be m k by h k x k plus 1 minus x whole square or cube. plus m k plus 1 by 6 h k into x minus x k cube plus y k by h k into x k plus 1 minus x plus y k plus 1 by h k x minus x k. <coughs> so, this is the equation number 6. So, this is the equation I am getting after eliminating the constant value that is p k and q k. So, this is the polynomial cubic polynomial we are going to get the only things are now we have to define what is this m k, m k plus 1, this is my m k and m k plus 1. So, now from here I will try to find out this values of m k where we know that this m k is the second derivative at x k. So, we will stop here uh, today up to this expression and in the next lecture we will continue with this uh, expression to find out what is the value of this m k. So, I should stop here today. So, today we have started with the concept of cubic spline and then we have tried to find out that how we can define the cubic spline uh, interpolating polynomial for the given data. So, in the next lecture, we will continue with this expression. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, thanks very much.